What's up guys this is Hardik here and today I'll be showing you the 5.0.1 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Wide Ears. See it's actually funny that this device is getting the 5.0.1 ROM but it's it's actually serious. So yeah uh, as you can see this is the ROM itself uh, and yeah it's a tiny tiny phone as you can see here. So I'll just quickly uh, demonstrate the ROM here. Uh, so if I just go into the settings real quick, um, there we go. Just go to the about phone, and as you can see, the Android version it's 5.0.1 with uh, Nama ROM, as you can see there. Um, so uh, you just have to be uh, rooted, and you have to have a custom recovery installed on your Samsung Galaxy Wide Ears and uh, i don't know if it will work on the samsung galaxy y uh, it's here um i actually can't demonstrate it as my device is dead at the moment it's not turning on but yeah if i'll find uh, any stuff about the uh, for the galaxy y i just post it in the description below but anyways this is the rom and as i uh, showed you it's 5.1.1 you can see the app draw is a bit crazy uh, here but it's it's cool you get the camera here but it's a normal Samsung camera as you can see there and the quality will remain same as you know it also has this tablet kind of mode uh, which we used to get on the 6.0 marshmallow uh, in the developer preview so it's actually pretty good as you can see the app drawer turns completely horizontal but um, it's cool as you can see if I just turn this way it turns this way so that's actually cool but uh, I just show you what all we get so as you can see it is the notification bar here and we get is the settings uh, I don't know what's this but he, this is the quick toggles I hope so yeah there we go as you can see this is the quick toggles you can just turn on the Wi-Fi real quick turn off the data of the Bluetooth airplane mode and stuff just we'll quickly see what else we get and i just installed this rom it's uh, like clean install i just did it right now but anyways uh, we have a gallery app over here um so this are the pictures that i took so that's there uh, we get the google messenger here as you can see uh, the new feature here in the rom is as you can see here uh, it's the galaxy feature that we get here is this so you can just quickly turn on the settings we can quickly go into the gallery you can quickly go into the play music so uh, I, I think this is the place where our recent apps appear also this ROM supports if I just hold the home button for like three seconds or maybe just two I guess yeah as you can see we get the recent over here so that's actually cool and we can also clear everything from here so that's it ram clear um so uh, the next thing we get here are the bloatware so it's pre-rooted as you can see the super user is already installed here okay and it says no apps as i just installed this so let's see what else do we get in the settings Let's quickly turn on the brightness all the way there we go so we get here is the applications that are normal uh, anyways so scroll down we get the development and basic stuff as you can see here uh, if we hit more we get it's again basic st stuff but uh, as you can notice that this is the lollipop skin but if we just tap on more you get the samsung skin again so with with few modifications of course so that's there um sim card manager is here again and um okay so there's no sim so it's it's not showing sim card in display we get is the animation window um so we can just set animation scales here and screen timeout and basic stuff like that battery use uh battery is meh like not that good uh, but it's okay for this rom as this device is like <laughs> what six to seven years older i guess i don't know but 
it's it's actually good to see the support of ROMs for this device still. Um, so that's there. So we get the phone here in the lollipop style, as you can see. And if we just okay, we get your pack performance. Allah, this is to do with some um, rooted stuff to like overclock something if you want to. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We get your file manager here included in the ROM. That's cool. So swipe here. We get the task manager again. It was a um, Samsung feature. That's there. Um, then yeah that's basically it uh, i have to use it i mean i don't actually but i'll test it i and, and just an fyi it's not a stable rom anyways but if you have like a spare device or something uh, like a spare galaxy y or yeah so uh white device actually so you can just put it on the spare device if you have so yeah that's been it thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one.